Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about HLBZ stock. Quick video, short and sweet, going to show you the charts, going to show you some news, going to talk a little bit about the CEO and why I'm still bullish on this company. Don't forget to smash that like button. I truly appreciate it. If we could get this over 200 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing so we can get this video out to more people interested in HLBZ. You know me from talking about Molin stock and I'm going to continue talking about Molin stock, but I want to add this stock in couple times a week to give you guys updates, tell you exactly what I think is going to happen next with HLBZ. Now we played this stock back when it was at 25 cents and we wrote it all the way up to 52 cents and I ended up selling my shares at 52 cents. I've been dollar cost averaging in ever since then. I want to tell you exactly my game plan with HLBZ moving forward and really what the company is all about. Before we do that though, don't forget to grab your coffee. I'm fresh out, but have some for me. Let's get right into this video. So the question is, should you buy HLBZ stock after it has risen 7.14% in a week? Okay, so looking at this right now, and I'll pull the charts up in a minute, uh, this article would actually be incorrect. From Monday to Friday, which was yesterday, we ran over 24%. To the upside now if you would have sold the top which was about 19 cents we were actually up 67 percent which is absolutely incredible so this stock could run at any point but also this stock could sell off as we've been seeing it selling off as we hit highs of 55 cents and then we sold off all the way down to about 11 cents so that was very traumatic for a lot of people especially if they were buying at 50 55 cents but hopefully this video today helps you and uh, keeps you a little calm especially if you're holding hlbz stock let's talk a little bit about what the ceo has been posting he has been kind of quiet lately as we've seen over this last month he's been very vocal on twitter he posted a couple weeks ago that he was visiting the ceo of molin company but nothing about molin company has been posted on twitter since he last stated he was meeting with the ceo of molin but his last two tweets are right here. So he said, we believe in the power of trust in the process. Despite ups and downs, we stay focused on our mission and vision. Remember, success doesn't come overnight. It takes hard work and determination. So how do I feel about this tweet? Well, it tells me a couple things. One, the CEO isn't concerned if the stock price moves lower. The other thing it tells me is he has a vision, right? He seems like he's very vocal. He wants people to know that he's very serious about his business. And I'll tell you a little bit about the company in a minute, but this could go either ways. And we've seen as he's been posting that the stock price has been moving down. But the other thing that he posted, which was Friday, yesterday, excited to share my recent visit to several production plants in the USA. Our team at Hellbiz is working hard to, being, uh, to bring production to the USA, helping us meet the high demand for our wheels by Hellbiz vehicles and bringing jobs back to the US. Okay, and then hashtag bringing production home wheels one. So does this have something to do with Molin company? Is there going to be a partnership of some kind? No one really knows. All we know is what these CEOs are tweeting. We get a little bit of news here and there, but we got to start to kind of figure things out on our own and really determine our own opinions based on what these CEOs are posting. Now let's dive a little more into Hellbiz as a company and the product. So below me, Hellbiz Inc. provides electric micro mobility services. The company offers a diverse fleet of vehicles, including e-scooters, e-bicycles, and e-mopeds, all on one convenient user-friendly platform around the world. So this could be very interesting, especially for places that um, that I can think of, like Austin, Texas. You know, scooters all around the town. You have California, Los Angeles, Santa Monica, San Diego. You know, these are great places where people like to mobilize pretty much and if you have scooters that are electric and they're they're kind of the only thing people are looking at the only company um, then it could be very useful and it could be very successful i think also help is uh, sold out of like their pre-orders i think a month ago and that's really what made the stock shoot up on that last run um, so over like $2 million of orders, which is absolutely amazing. So again, what are your guys' thoughts on Hellbiz? Do you think it's a good company in the long run? Do you think this is just potentially the next play that we could get a squeeze out of it? I know a reverse stock split is also on the table, so you want to be careful with this. But let's dive deep into the charts and let me show you exactly where I'm kind of looking at this stock. It might be a little small, but really what you guys want to look out for right now, a couple things. The RSI, we're chilling at 43 right now. So it's still pretty low. We could still run. Okay. 
Um, the stochastic you can see is pretty high on the daily. Once we cross over, we tend to move lower, so be aware of that. But the other thing I wanna show you are the Fib lines right here. Can't really see it, but basically, if you take the low of 11 cents and you bring it all the way to the new high of 18, 19 cents, you can see that we started to retrace back down to the 618, which is just at 14.3 cents, basically. So about a little over 14 cents. Now, if we do move lower, what I could see us going to is testing about 13 cents, maybe just under 13 cents. From here, we could, in fact, bounce, and we could go all the way up to about 17 and a half cents. Now, if we do break that, then my next zone would be on the fib retracement in the middle right there, and it would be the 0 0.382, right? So that would be about 22 and a half cents, maybe almost 23 cents. So again, if you believe in this company, if you're long on the company, this wouldn't be a bad play in my opinion, um, but you just wanna be careful, right? You wanna watch the CEO, you wanna look at these charts. Again, I'll do a deeper dive for uh, the Patreon members. If you wanna check, out, check that out, links down below. About $7 a month, we go over even deeper chart analysis with the stocks that we choose. But today's video, I wanted to give you guys an update on HLBZ because I've covered it a little bit. Go ahead, let me know down below if you want more updates from HLBZ, and I will definitely make more videos as the weeks go on so we can stay on top of this company. The CEO is very determined, it sounds like, to get over a dollar. Um, he's acting like he has plenty of time to do this, so it's very interesting. You know, Again, I said I kind of like the CEO. He seems like he's all about his business. But again, you got to do your own research, right? At the end of the day, you got to figure things out on your own. I'm just here to help you guys and show you exactly what I'm kind of doing with these stocks. Have a great day. See you on the next one.